welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is monica today we are doing a full-on valentine's transformation using only drugstore products i'm doing hair makeup even show you guys my outfit and uh, give you guys some inspo for your valentine's day so if you want to see me going from these to these make sure you keep on watching we are super up close i'm just done taking a shower and i did my skincare routine and now i'm thinking i'm doing my makeup first just because i love this aesthetic with the hair towel and everything i think it's okay to do my hair after because i'm going to blow dry it with this tool from revlon this will like style and blow my hair at the same time and it's okay doing that um after makeup it will not get in the way i think but yeah let's start this tutorial this is a full face of drugstore makeup and i'm so excited because i love drugstore makeup i think they have so many amazing products so the first product i will be using is this primer by catrice this is good by pores long lasting soft photos effect and that's exactly what we need on valentine's day we need to hide those pores concentrating most of it around my t-zone because that's where i get oily and that's where i have like a lot of large pores so i'm concentrating like around here and then i'll bring the rest up to my face it's pretty mattifying as well my skin looks really matte now next thing i want to do is go in with a color corrector and this is the maybelline master camo correcting pen and uh, this is a little bit dark for me i usually like to use a more peachy tone but that's okay i want to cancel out my dark circles like so a little bit around here because i have some like blue veins showing a lot around this area so i like to color correct there sometimes as well i'm gonna use my fingers to really press it into the skin now it's time for foundation and i'm going to use the uh instant anti-age maybelline foundation uh i love this it's pretty similar to the fenty beauty luminous foundation i'm not sure if i got the name right but it's pretty similar to that foundation from fenty and the luminous one from abh as well uh it's not a super full coverage foundation it's more for an everyday kind of look but i will go a little bit more heavy with concealer uh, if i need to cover more i just wish they had like different shades on this foundation this one i, I feel like it's too dark for me and the lighter one they have it's a little bit too light and we can always fix it with concealer so that's okay next i'm going to use the concealer version of that foundation and i'm going to use one in the shade 10 and another in the shade light one for highlighting and another for bronzing my skin I'm gonna blend the concealer first this concealer blends like a dream and i love the super bright under eye it's just so pretty now time for a little bit of these concealer to bronze and this brush that i'm using now this is the elf 103 brush which is my favorite brush to blend cream contours and creams just creams on my face my towel is of course going to get dirty but that's okay because i'm going to wash it right away after now for blush i'm gonna go with a little bit of maybelline cheek heat in the shade nude burn i love this shade and i love this cream blush i just love cream products and i'm just going to apply it with a brush i love that it's so pretty it gave a little bit of color and it's valentine's i love that touch of pink in valentine's in my makeup so a little bit on my nose as well so this is the powder that i'm going to use i love this color right here it's a vanilla kind of color so i'm going to apply that time for bronzer and i'm going to use the skin light revlon this is the prismatic bronzer in the shade sunlit glow my favorite ever drugstore bronzer period and the shade is just like perfect not too warm not too orange not too cool just love it for blush i'm going in with color pop catch my vibe this is not drugstore i don't think it's drugstore but it's super affordable so i thought i could include it in this uh tutorial just a little bit 
now that all the powders are on I want to bring back the glow into my skin because now it's pretty matte but even like it has a little bit of glow but I want more so I'm going in with the revolution uh, makeup glass glow fix now it's time for highlighter and again another one from Revlon love it I ju just look at it let me just show you look how wet it looks it's just everything this is the skin lights uh, prismatic highlighter in the shade twilight gleam let's apply it oh yeah it gives me that wet glow I adore this is only drugstore products like can you believe that now it's time for the brows and eyes i'm gonna start with brows of course i'm gonna use the got to be glued this is for your hair but i use this on my brows uh i recently tried the abh brow freeze and that's the best thing i ever tried in my life now i'm gonna use the elf ultra precise brow pencil this is in the shade dark brown and i'm just gonna like fill in the gaps on my brows For my eyes, I'm going to use these uh, eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. These are $3 each, super affordable. I'm gonna start with this one first. It has the black shade, the dark brown, and the lighter brown. Maybe I will go into this shade right here, but I'm not sure. Then I'm gonna use this like card thing I have here to kind of do a, a defined line. So let's go. You can use anything you want at home, or you can just do your eyes first and use tape if that's easier for you. Even go with your finger and play that out right at the end, like so. And if you want to define that light even more, you can go with a little bit of concealer and just like define that even more. Go over with your finger. Now I'm gonna go into that lighter brown and blend that shade out. If you want to darken that up even more, you can go with the black. And Put it a little bit on top of there. So I'm just gonna use that same brush and the brown shade and apply the brown shade on my lower lash. Blend that out with a lighter brown. And just like that, the eyes are Done, I'm gonna go and apply falsies off camera. I'm gonna be using these in the style 196 and I will be right back. And I wanna do an ombre red lip kind of thing. And I'm gonna go in with this lip liner first. This is the Maybelline uh, Color Show Color Drama Velvet Lip Crayon. I'm gonna use this lipstick duo from e.l.f. This is the, it doesn't have a name, but this is a lipstick duo. Let me show you guys how it looks like. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the dark red over the berry. And then in the middle, the red. This red is not so bright, so it didn't give me that ombre effect. So I think I'm gonna go with the even brighter red on the center of my lips. And for that, I'm gonna be using this lip shade right here. This is Maybelline in the shade 470. I'm gonna go with a dark liner and darken it up. And the makeup look is done. Time to do the hair and I'm finally going to take off these hair towel and my hair is crazy still wet it's smelling so good it feels so good to wash uh, your hair and what i'm gonna do today is pretty much like brush it and blow dry it and that's it and i love this revlon salon blow dryer because it's like affordable and it gives you the most beautiful hair salon hair ever i'm just gonna like brush my hair first start at the ends and work my way up So let's use this. It's gonna make a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna cut off the noise and put some music. But I'm just gonna like speed up this process, it's really easy. Go 
and get dressed. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna wear. A little bonus of this video is the outfit, so let's go and get dressed. This is the dress that I'm gonna use for Valentine's. Oh my god, it's gonna make me feel like a princess, but this is a special romantic day and I really wanna go all red. So yeah, this is what we are going to dress right now. These are the heels that I wanna wear with my dress. They are like kind of see-through. I really like that about them. So let's put them on. This is the dress, you guys. Look how pretty it is. I feel like a princess. This is how I'm looking. I'm really excited about this look and I love the dress. So guys, that's pretty much the outfit and the makeup and the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. I hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you go watch my other videos. Since you are here, if you want to watch more from me, make sure you click on those videos and watch them. I really hope you guys have the best Valentine's Day and I see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.